You're. Oh, now you know we're starting. I'm about. I didn't say nothing to you. Make sure you're working. Where's mine at? At the bottom. Yeah, you're always at the bottom. I don't know how it got set up like that. Yeah. This is all loose. Let's do some Jaeger bombs. Do some Jaeger bombs. One year. Damn. A podcast. Ridiculous. Probably Cheap. longer, but. Well, I mean, we've did a year's worth of episodes. Yeah. I'm gonna spit. You just stopped drinking. And you're <laughs> I like, did because yeah. I was like, yeah. <laughs> them boys is carved up now. I know. That was way better though, with the carb in it. Yeah, it last time was just flat as hell. Yeah, it lasted a while. Though. I don't even remember when I bought it. We went through. That one. We got one regular sugar one. I just got rid of the one of the sugar freeze, and there's two. The other sugar free is almost gone. I got one left. Well, how do you drink it? No. More uh, so that's uh, most of it's getting dumped out though, because after that, like uh, tonight, yeah. I won't drink it again. I'll just dump it out and Until then make next. a new one. Ah, okay. It's probably still good though. It probably at least two weeks you could probably yeah. do. We Maybe could try it next time. Shit, shit out of it before we uh, yeah. Do it well, like every time. time I open it, it's still like shh, you yeah. know what I mean, like the but like a two liter bottle. Like you ever get one? No, nah, I never got. It. I like mean, we, like, are you talking about two liter, just anything? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah regular yeah, Coke. The thing. Yeah. And then as soon as you open it, like, the next day you go in there, it's, like, yeah, flat. That's why I need to buy, well, I don't buy, try to buy soda too much, but I always buy, like, cans. Now. Yeah. I was buying for a while there just because I don't want to drink, like, a lot of soda, so I'd mm-hmm. buy, like, those mini, yeah. mini Pepsi cans, so just in case I wanted one, I was like, I don't do. It's, like, not, I don't know how much difference it is, mm-hmm. whatever, sugar-wise. Yeah. Shit. You just get regular Coke or regular Pepsi, Pepsi yeah. whatever, like, because everybody's, like, uh, the Coke Zero. I know no, Phil's been complaining. Have you? Oh, I forgot the crickets are back. And they were not talking the whole time until they right were. now. <laughs> I didn't hear any. You're just like, oh. We Remember we had that problem. Yeah. That's a year ago. <laughs> yep. Well, not a year, but a year's it's worth of episodes. Funny. But um, so I guess they changed the formula for the Coke Zero now. It's like different. And it just tastes like Diet Coke. Like the yeah. other, the Coke Zero actually tasted pretty good. Uh, yeah, I've never even, I don't even try that stuff. No. <laughs> I was thinking that. of trying the Zevia, but they're real expensive because that. Stevia that? in it. Oh, it's like, like regular, yeah, like they yeah, make root yeah. beer and grape and like all the regular sodas. That's too. I haven't heard a damn cricket in for. I know. The one night it was like it was like one of those nights it was cool. I don't forget what it was. So I opened up the window and all night long it was just cricket, mm-hmm. like outside of the the window. And yeah. I was like, this is "Why I fucking keep the window shut?" Yeah. <laughs> like one wants to hear this shit all the time. But usually they don't get in the house or nothing. But out here they get in. I was gonna say. It's, well, the one he was back here last night. Behind the freezer. Chilling right over there somewhere. I know. Behind the arcade, it sounds like. Stinkable good getting somebody. There's a cat under me. She better go get him. <laughs> get on my nerves. 63 degrees out. I'm too excited. I know. I wish to get some hot like weather now. All the time. I know. I buy that. Um, not this. What well, sort of does? <laughs> and it has anything to do with it getting cooler. That Root to Fight. I always buy all their. Hoodies and stuff? Yeah. So they can put a whole. It's like, remember Bruce Lee, that yellow. Yeah, outfit he wears. Well, they kind of put one out with his like sweatpants, sweatshirt. Oh, really? Type deal, but it looks so. I'm. So I would like, wear the whole thing. I'm gonna buy the hoodie though. Oh, you get the. You look like uh, what's her name from Kill Bill? That's the same one, right? Yeah, but it's like it's like it'll look obviously way different than that because yeah. it almost his almost look like an Adidas one piece. Yeah, it does. Type yeah, deal, but it just has the same. It's like black and uh, yellow. So what is? So I'll definitely buy the hoodie. Aren't the hoodies expensive though? Eighty five bucks. Yeah. Though. That's a yes. <laughs> yeah. But I remember people when I used to get They're like the like softest the, shit ever. Like, it's uh, ridiculous. I remember they're when I used so to get good. the BMX ones, like, they were, like, 30. And people were like, that's a lot of money. Like I said, like, the Hanes one we want to do for the FM yeah. ones are 13 bucks. 13 bucks. bucks. <laughs> yeah. Like, most hoodies. Like, I buy, like, Vans makes some of those hoodies I have. They're pretty soft. Mm-hmm. But then they're, like, 50 bucks, something like that. 55, something like that. But, yeah. Roots of Fight, 80 bucks, 85. Yeah. That, like, you had the Andre Giant one, right? That's... Yeah, I got that. And that one's not even as soft as like I bought. I got like a Kevin Hart one. His on Roots of Fight. Yeah, because he's he's one of their spot things. Or they sponsor him now. Oh, really? Yeah, it'll have like his some of his like concert shirts on there, and then mm. like the one I have just says uh, like wherever wherever he grew up at has like it was e, in Philly or somewhere, right? Philly, but it just has an E, and then on the back it says Philadelphia, Uh-oh. and then it has like on the side like the patch because they always have the patch of whoever mm-hmm. it is it says like Kevin Hart on there, so it's not like it says Kevin Hart biggest shit on. Oh there. yeah, but he does have shirts on there that are like says whatever. Like, I thought it was mostly like fighters or it was, and then they have and then they just started because they put um, Kevin Hart and uh, Red Fox. The oh really? Yeah. <laughs> and I bought the I bought the Red Fox because when I was like growing up that they were, I mean they're repeats, but I used to watch like Sanford and Sons stuff yeah. like that so. 
So I bought like his shirt, just like a t-shirt or whatever. Just like I think, I don't know if I bought a Kevin Hart t-shirt or not. But he has like the concert ones, which is pretty cool. Yeah. When they, because I know the one was in Philly. I think Laugh at My Pain was in Philly, maybe. Yeah. Is that the one that was in the round? Yeah, I forget. I don't know. That was one of the good ones. I didn't like the last one. Yeah. I didn't the like one it. in it his house. Okay, but yeah. I didn't watch that one. Nah, and I, yeah. the one before, I didn't like. Yeah. yeah I so think Laugh at My Pain was like the last like real funny one. Yeah. It was kind of because I liked his first one. The one where he yeah, was a little, uh, little whatever, fucking little name. big man or yeah. something like that, and then seriously funny was his best, I think. Yeah. And then Left Pain, Pain was after. Just yeah. kind of down, not downhill, mm-hmm. but you know when people are getting a lot of money. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Really. Like your stories aren't the same now. Yeah, <laughs> you just start talking about your kids. And yeah, remember like we were talking about um, Tim Allen that one time, trying to talk about his Lamborghini breaking yeah. down. <laughs> yeah. oh, what you got going on? A <laughs> in my face. Because <laughs> 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 she said it, it was just like, I'll go hang around your microphone. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's too funny. Oh, speaking of what, yesterday you texted me about them birds. I asked George. George didn't have any. No. Nah. So it must have been just around us. It was ridiculous. <laughs> so I didn't know anything about it. I was just in the house and then um, had the one on a walk with the dog. And she just comes back. She's like, you see all these birds? Or she texts me. She was like, I don't know what's going on. There's a bunch of birds. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> I'm just thinking like a bunch of birds flying. Yeah. They were just coming back and forth. So then I just like went out back and I was just sitting there. I was like, yeah, this is ridiculous. They were all like whatever seagulls looking Yeah, birds. that's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what they Because they were exactly. like yelling like, like seagulls. It yeah. sounded like you were at the beach. Yeah, but they were just back and forth, back and forth like crazy. And then all of a sudden yeah. there were a bunch of like little sparrows came. And they like almost chased them away. And there was just like tons of sparrows or whatever. Like little tiny birds. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> I don't know my birds, but yeah, I don't know. I know what Cardinal and Blue <laughs> yeah. Jay look like. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> but they were like these tiny birds came and they were just doing the same thing. And all of a sudden, like all the seagulls, I could see them like down the road. Like I could look down my neighbors, like mm-hmm. as far as I could see, and it looked like they moved down there that way. But I was like, "What the hell is going?" I thought there was like some kind of crazy storm or something that yeah. was happening. And I was like, "Cause they're not just flying by; they just keep going back and forth, back yeah. and forth." So I have no clue. And then they were gone. Just like I said, the sparrows came. They all the seagulls left or whatever the fuck they were, and mm-hmm. then. They left, and all of a sudden it was just nothing going on. Yeah, but I was like, wonder if it's just here. That's why I texted you. I was like, what the fuck is going on? I was like, wonder if it's just this yeah. street or something. And George don't live that far from us either, so yeah. he didn't see him. I don't know what it was because you live pretty close, so yeah. something was going on just oh, right yeah. around us. Yeah. But it was just weird because it's not like they're vultures or it's like a dead animal or yeah. something like that. Usually that's what. Yeah, it's weird bird. They're not even around. Like I never go out back and see a bunch of no seagulls flying by. <laughs> like I see, we get cardinals once in a while. Yeah, I'll get one. I'll see one of them or something like that. Yeah. Blue Jays, of course. But And then just the enough. sparrows, like you said. I know the the little tiny birds. I don't know if they're sparrows, but yeah, I them little tiny ones, we get them. I know they're small, so I'm just <clears throat> sparrows. That's good. Yeah. We had to, uh, one day, I think the Cardinal has a nest in this holly bush right here, like by where we play beer pong. And Sting a boy who found it, like he got on the roof and was like, really? he knocked it out of the nest and stuff. And then <laughs> just wouldn't let him outside. And then I guess one of the crows came and took it. Oh, shit. Sure. I didn't know they eat birds, too. Yeah, I didn't know. I think yeah. it was a crow. Apparently, they're little assholes. <laughs> just came I know and, Blue Jays are assholes. I yeah. At my uh, parents' house, there was always like, my cat would go out there and he'd just be on the ground, like walking, but like dead on, like crawling, like army crawl. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And just be like, Blue Jays. If you just watch long enough, like Blue Jays swiping back and forth, just he was just trying to go hang out, and he'd just be trying to get. He wasn't bothering him or nothing like that. He wasn't like one of the cats that bring you home birds and stuff like that. Yeah, he's just trying to walk. He was like crawling all the way across the yard. I'm like, this guy's crazy as <laughs> shit. These birds are mean. I don't really see that man. I see cardinals like in my backyard when I'm out there. Yeah, they'll be they'll fly and like land on the fence or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we get more cardinal. I think my mom and dad used to get a bunch of Blue Jays by them. We we'll get some cardinals over here. That cricket is so acting bad. up. That's crazy. It's <laughs> Remember, just funny that it started. I know. Because <laughs> like it was now. quiet the whole time, yeah. I think. Because we had the music, music probably. Loud. I was going to say, the music probably stops on there. Yeah. Like, like the beat of it or something like that. Well, like last night, me and Trish were playing rock band. And uh, what's it called? Cricket was over here behind the freezer just talking the whole time. Really? Yeah. So I don't know what. Yeah. It's an asshole cricket. Man. Yeah. Because we usually. Like I'll hear them, even like the ones outside. If I just like stop my foot or something like that, they'll mm-hmm. stop even from outside. Yeah, <laughs> just so they hear. I guess they hear like the noise or whatever. Because remember, they come um, right back, but the one year when he it sounded like he was like in the crawl yeah. space when I just put that broom and like started hitting the yeah, thing. Yeah, shut up for a little Spray bit. Spray around. Let me just get this cat to go. Yeah. Get him. Yeah. Go do something yeah. with your life, cat. Yeah, I'm gonna go up here. She's like, I'm about to sleep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. Something going on in there. 
was that? Oh, I just got done watching, which is that a long time ago. It was a Tom Hanks movie, that News of the World. It's on Apple TV. See? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <okay. laughs> I saw it on there, but I thought it was like a show. Like, I thought it was like some kind of series, but apparently it's like a movie. So I just watched that before I was coming over. But it's kind of boring. Like, oh, yeah? He's like a guy that, I guess he goes around town to town and just reads the news from like the Civil, like when he was in Civil, like right after the Civil War, I guess is when it takes place, but he finds some girl. And I was like, I always wanted to watch it. And I was like, this is kind of <laughs> boring. So I think he yeah. must have a contract with Apple TV. Oh, uh, really? Because he has, there's a war movie. It's called. Damn, I'm gonna Saving say it's called Great Great. <laughs> he does have <laughs> does that, but now on Apple uh, TV or Apple Plus or whatever that's called. Um, but that was a good one. It was like I want to say it's called Greyhound. He's on like a battleship, and there's like a certain part of like the sea where it was like planes couldn't fly any further because they would run out of gas. Mm-hmm. So and then your uh, the ships would be by themselves for this long stretch, and they called mm-hmm. it something. But it was basically uh. like when you hit that, so you pretty much you have to fight and do all that to get through it because they know that planes don't. Yeah. So it was like a true story deal. But like that one was good. But this one was a little slow, a little yeah. boring. But I figured if he, that's like his second movie, I was like, he must have like, like uh, what's his name? Adam Sandler has with Netflix. Oh, you know, yeah. Like, like a contract. Like five yeah. movies or some shit like that. So Does he have any more movies? Adam Sandler? Yeah. I think he has another one coming out. Because i seen they had like a thing where like, oh, they're going to do a Waterboy 2 or something else. Yeah. I forget I forget what it was. It was just like something like they were filming somewhere. Yeah. But I, oh, the uh, one in Philly. Yeah. But I don't know. I can't remember was. what it was. I just read something about yeah, it, too, and too. I can't remember. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know. I don't even know if it's for Netflix. It might just be a separate movie. I have no Yeah, idea. I just figured I just since know it was he had, him. He signed like a certain movie deal, thing, yeah. But like. Is it, it's like a basketball movie, isn't it? I have no clue. I just remember they were shared a picture of him in Philly, and then yeah. they said he was filming a movie, but I didn't read the whole article. I know something that oh, – did you watch all his Netflix movies? I think so. Because that one is Sandy Wexler or something like that. I did watch that, yeah. That's horrible. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I was he like, was like an agent or something? Yeah, yeah. I was like, it was one of the movies. They were just like, here, I got this movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you just put it out. Yeah. That's where it's number one. <laughs> but the Gems wasn't one, was it? I don't think Righteous, that was a Netflix. Not Righteous Gems. Un- what was it? Uncut Gems. Uncut Gems, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't think. I think that was separate. Yeah. Was, that was good, though. Yeah, that is good. Well, the like the wrong Missy was funny. Yeah. And, and that, that was, he don't even have to be in it, I guess, right? Because that's it's his. his Happy Madison yeah. production. Yeah, I don't know if that's part of that or he has a five movie where it's he's in it. Yeah. Because he had like Murder Mysteries. Was That was okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, Wait, like Jennifer, Jennifer Aniston? Aniston? Yeah, like that was okay. UB Halloween was hitting. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I was like, "There's more." It's like that's it because I think there's more, there's more to come. Because I don't think he has five out there. Does his uh, stand up count? Stand up? I don't know. Maybe it does. Probably does. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd say he has like one more to come. Yeah. Something like that. But I just know that Sandy Wex. I was like, "What the hell am I watching?" Yeah. I mean, I thought that would he be Halloween too, but something about it was like, I'm not mad at it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just it's a like dumb, for like, at least it was around Halloween. Yeah. It was so it's like something just, like, just watch. It's not like oh, it's Halloween time. I'm super excited about the new Halloween now with Michael Myers. Oh yeah, I don't yeah. follow that stuff. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I, I watch them all. So he, they've been re- remaking them. So he's got one coming out, and if you didn't see the last one, uh, it was pretty good. Whoever redid them, like with uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, she's like older. Oh, yeah. She's older, and then like she just knows that he's coming back or something like that. So, and then she like in the last one. It's not a spoiler alert because it's a couple years now. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, it is uh, for me. I'll, it, uh, still probably watch uh, it, but um, it's the same every time. Yeah, uh, that horse thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, in the last one, she like got him to come to the house. He trapped him in there and like set the house on fire. So in this new one, new one in the trailer, the, of course the fire company comes and they save his ass. <laughs> they don't know they're saving him though. They just know it's a person in there. Yeah. And they like reach down and grab him and all of a sudden he just kills like everyone. <laughs> <laughs> thanks like, for they, helping me. Yeah, yeah, thanks for helping me. You just got fucking killed but it looks good and then I think there's one more after, whoever's making these there's one more after the one that'll come out in October. So it's not Rob Zombie anymore? No. Nah. Yeah, he was done after two. He did the Halloween's though, right? He did one like just the... One. He just wanted to. He made his own version of the beginning part, original right? Original Halloween like told the backstory and then that's it and then he made part two and then somebody else has made the rest of them yeah because so part two just... was trash oh, well, if you didn't I sit don't, through them i don't, don't think so i don't it was i shouldn't say it's trash but it's weird as shit so i'm trying to i thought i did because and part in his part one and that whole like when he's a kid to yeah i like that like one, that yeah. was good and then 
um, the other one's weird. Like he starts seeing his mom in dreams and like Michael Myers sees his mom and she's telling him what to do and all this stuff. And it's just, of course he has to have his wife in it. So yeah. <laughs> like she's, and she's like, not as hot as she used to yeah, be. Now. Yeah. She's getting older <laughs> now, like, but she's an airplane. Like she's like some ghost figure that like just floats around and, and tells so him, is like, she the mom? She was, she was the mom in the first one. That oh yeah, she was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, and then whatever happened and she's in the second one, but it's, fucking weird then he stopped making them so so I'm not, uh, I, I want to say it's the original guy that made like he came back to produce the new ones from the original from the original but i can't i'm not even gonna try to say his name so yeah i don't know it's like muhammad something ali nope oh he's probably not producing movies <laughs> they're gonna be some know. real shaky filming <laughs> <laughs> well he can produce he don't have to film it <laughs> get somebody right out nobody's gonna be able to read what he wrote <laughs> Is he dead? How would I leave dead? Yeah. I think he is. Okay. <laughs> just stop. to so mean, man. Well, it's not, I mean. <laughs> it's whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't think uh, if you produce, shit. you don't write anyway, right? No, I'm just Producer, saying. Producer, like, whoever, like, out for it. The guy directed and did all this yeah. shit. The original one. I think that's who doing the new ones again. Yeah. But I could be wrong. I don't know. I know he has. I think his name was on there, so I don't know what part he plays in it, but. It's a weird name, so you know when it like pops up on the screen, you're like, "Oh yeah. shit!" Like that's a guy from the made ones back in the '78 when it came out. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, so not '78, but like, remember we were talking about Jaws when Dave was here? Yeah. And I said '69 when um the movie came out, and it was what '75, I think it yeah. came out. So and Dave was like '69. Did they even have color uh, movies then? Do you know when they had? When they started doing color, like TV, movies, and stuff? Nope. So, but when I, I looked it, it up, a... because a lot of people think Wizard of Oz is the first one. Like, do you remember Wizard of Oz? Do you know when yeah, that came out? the original out? one was black and white. Right? Was it? I thought it was. And I thought that you did that. Uh, yeah, I thought it was in the beginning, black and white, and then they switched to color. No, I mean, like, the original. like the, But I thought they re-put it out and like that. Did they? I, don't, I could be wrong. But I know, like, It's a Wonderful Life, like, the original version it's is black and white. It's yeah. black and white, and then they did that whatever it was called back then, color or something. So they did something to the film that was already... Yeah. Uh, it's I mean, it's still color, though. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, the original movie, when it got put out, was, was in black, in black and, white. and white, yeah. And then for us in, the, like, the 80s or whenever they redid it, yeah. 70s or something like that. Well, do you know when that movie, movie came out? <laughs> 39. What movie? The Wizard of Oz. Oh, shit. Yeah. Really? Speaking of what, it's weird because I said 69. The uh, What's her name? Dorothy? What the hell? She's... Judy Garland, Garland yeah. yeah, she died in '69. Wow, so that's how old. So she was only thirty years old, or no? no. Well, not she that. was in the movie in '39. Yeah, okay. I don't know okay. how old she yeah, was, yeah, but yeah. she was probably young. I think it was. No, she I had to be way older than. <laughs> yeah, she had to be at least probably twenty something in that movie, right? Probably she wasn't somewhere super young. Around. Like she played a young person, but I don't think she was. Yeah, that young. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, it was weird. Like if you watch like old movies when they play teenagers, or yeah. like really old. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know, because I was looking it up, I was like, because I didn't think 69 sounded that bad for a colored thing, no, and he was I like, think. I don't even know if they had color yeah, TV they, back then, but. So it's, so the 30s was still black and white, is what you're saying? Or that's when color. I don't know, out. because I, when I looked it up, a lot of people were like, oh, Wizard of Oz was the first movie, and then the whole article went into Wizard of Oz wasn't the first one that was yeah. in color, but there he goes again. Oh, I hit him that time. <laughs> but we made it. I don't know. I guess we could look it up, but. Because I was just trying to look it up. and Yeah, you might as well go ahead and look it up. I should tell you. Yeah, so what do you look up the first movie first in movie color? First movie in color, yeah. Yeah, because I don't even remember. I thought, I don't even remember Wizard of Oz doing that being, I guess it was black and white, and then they switched the color when they get yeah. to Oz or gotta, something like that. I'll put it in the middle because I had it blocking you. See, this is what I read before. It was like a... 1917 movie the golf yeah. between but they might have that 17 sounds like black and white <laughs> <laughs> 1903 see like it's probably old movies they switch somehow yeah i guess tag the color is the thing i was thinking about maybe what's going on and the fan's about to fall down head. That'd be a good clip. Yeah. <laughs> what was the first movie in color? <laughs> it's all like 1918. I don't know. What about color TVs? Like, when could you buy a color TV? Nah, no damn clue. 
See, there's old Judy Garland. Yeah. <laughs> old Judy Garland. Be like, right now, stupid. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 1960s. 60s. So that wasn't. So off. they had to have. Yeah, they had to have. Yeah, so stuff in color. Then. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, they wouldn't make a color yeah. TV if you couldn't watch it in color. So I, had to, I mean, it had to be a while back. Then they have the yeah. 50s up here, so. Imagine that they went back and like made a lot of the movies that. So 1954 were old. RCA TV gets color for money. That's that sh- song, right? What? Not the color for money, but there's that. I don't know. <laughs> trying to think of a what is that song I don't I do know not know. I'll, I'll think of it later on <clears throat> I'm happy to switch to this colder beer yeah the first one wasn't that cold <laughs> yeah that's what I was scared of. So I was like, <laughs> and I went because I threw mine away and then I picked up beer I was like oh this is open yeah, I was like, about in there like earlier I would have went and got them and put them in my fridge and then yeah. came well, out but like I yes, said, I thought uh, somebody's coming. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, somebody usually sits right Here's here. Here's a chair here. Yeah. I was thinking, maybe sometime in the future we should get like somebody like different to come on. You know, like have like guests, kind of. Yeah, I mean anybody can come. Just nobody wants to come. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Everybody gets nervous about just talking. I know. Like, it's weird. I mean, I'm sure if we go back to like our first one. Oh yeah, I remember when you said it. Like I was like, oh, I'm setting up the podcast. You want to do it tonight? You're like, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> but like, you just get used to it after yeah. a while. Because I just, remember Dave said the same thing. Yeah, it's just something in front of you while you're talking. Yeah. <laughs> like conversation is pretty much the same. Yeah. You just have add a little sure, bit. Like just I said, add it down you, a little bit. If you probably look at our first podcast, we're probably like yeah, because I like like weird as shit. Probably like <laughs> yeah, doing the weird. I don't Especially know. when you first start. Like now, we I always do the yo thing yeah. from. Joel Santana. And then but sometimes I don't even know you're starting. Like today? Like today. <laughs> there was that one time, I think it's like early episode, you were talking about when you uh, took all the bushes and stuff from your yard and like I put them in the neighbor's yard. Started. And I just started before. <laughs> you're like, all right, we can start. I was like, I already did. And <laughs> <laughs> just tell You're like, oh, myself. okay. <laughs> just out there, I did rip out all my bushes and throw them right in my neighbor's yard. But it yeah. wasn't a neighbor because nobody lived there. Yeah. I'm going to some shit out of my shed, too, and throw it in their shed. Didn't you give me a propane tank from your shed, too? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yep. George got a bunch of uh, meat today. I hope Jesse took it. He got, like, a bunch of... They just had trailers full of food and just thrown it away. Because, I guess, Ooh. from the storm, McLean. Wow. Just throwing it away. And they, Oh, no. This is from... They had a cookout for us, and they had extra food, so uh. they came in to cook. And they cooked enough for everybody, and they were like... The one dude was like, oh, I'm going to take some home. George was like, I'm going to take some home. So then like I made dinner tonight. Shit? Yeah, burgers right. and like a kibasi, like a big – Or sausage. It was like a big round thing of it. And I made dinner, but I told Jesse, like, if she comes over, just throw it in the oven because Bradley had the opening ceremonies today. So then um, I just come in there all <laughs> playing with this meat in the uh, <laughs> box. I was like, what is this? And, like, So she just wrapped it up, put some in my freezer. George got some, and then she took the rest home. We, right, stopped, we were getting meats. um, we we're getting like that box delivered to the house. We stopped that now. We just stopped it. What yeah. did you? Who, uh, we were getting butcher box. Oh really? Yeah. Which did you get like, your free bacon, free pound of bacon yeah, or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got all that, and then like I get free. Um, I think when we signed when we first signed up, it was you get a free thing of wings, but it was like a three pack. Like there's six to it says like six to ten in each pack, mm-hmm. so it's like different each time. But we got like a like a row of them. So it was good, but then also it's like every couple months they just be raising the price on you. Yeah. And then sometimes they don't have like you order something, they'll just be sending you some other shit you don't even like. I didn't and you just got to pay for it. Yeah. And you pay for it, but like it, like we would get um, pulled pork, but I like the one without the bone in it. So yeah. If they didn't have that, they send you one with the bone in it and shit like that, which, <laughs> which makes it like a little bit different and yeah. it cuts down on the amount of meat you're about to get. Right. So, but it was just getting crazy. I was like, we can just start buying meat. Yeah. Like, it's all right. I mean, it was good. Like everything was good because we get like filet mignons, all that shit. But yeah. I was like, fuck it. I'll just need to start eating chicken anyway and stop being fat. Yeah. No. <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. Like, because she works the days I. Like, we uh, go back and forth with our yeah. work days, so we have somebody here. But, like, on Sunday and Tuesday, we both work. 
And the Monday, wait, what was it? Yeah, the Monday I didn't get done till ten thirty. So I'm like starving. I'm not coming home and eating. Yeah. Like there was nothing here to eat. Like we gotta just start getting more food in the house so like I can come home and make something. But I don't want to ain't going out and grilling if I get off at eight o'clock at night. So you work from five thirty or something? You said yeah, five thirty to ten (laughs) thirty. That's crazy. (laughs) But I mean it good now that i'm not working but yeah we got the 200 hundred dollar incentive it was a hundred dollars for sunday a hundred dollars for monday and then i ended up with 48 hours in four days so should be a good check but it sucked yeah, i was on my third worried. we were supposed to have a good day too i was on my last truck and all of a sudden it just shut down we we're just standing there for like oh, is that two why you hours. had to do it yeah yeah no. and you still get paid for just sitting there because mm-hmm. i guess you don't never know when it's gonna start yeah. back up or fix whatever the hell your issues are yeah That's it's like man sure. they said they Something happened where they had to change a chip for something. Like, I don't know. I don't work in So As soon as they change it, every time they start it up, it would just shut down again. Like, it would blow a fuse or yeah. whatever. So, I guess eventually they figured it out. We got out at 1030. That's crazy. You can just load trucks up, right? Yeah. That's right. It's nice to have, like, a couple podcasts. Like, I started listening to Two Bears, One Cave. Because, like, Rogan's, like, there's a lot. Like, if I don't like them... And they got a three-hour podcast. I'm not yeah. listening to the <laughs> whole thing of whoever. Like, I listen to Tom Segura's on there. And yeah, I've been listening. Like, that's the one I'm on because I've been doing, trying to get back on the bike in case we go to the gym. I was like, yeah. I should probably at least get <laughs> start, <laughs> start moving some muscles around a little bit yeah. so I'm not super sore. So I've been riding on the what you call it, assault bike thing I have or whatever. And I, uh, I've been listening to that, trying to do like a half hour or something like that. So yeah. His is always entering. Like, if Tom Squares on there, I'm yeah. entertained by him. <laughs> that's why like i was looking for more like um like with bobby lee and santino like they do one a week and i'm all caught up so yeah. i'm usually like as soon as i get it i'll download it and listen to it like but when we're and there's just a quick like, there's a like day. An hour and something yeah so it's not that bad that's what i mean like i need to find more <laughs> yeah, yeah so, like, they're like joe rogan like i think we, i don't know if we talked about but that you know who anthony Bourdain is yeah the he dude was like that, a chef and then he killed himself or whatever yeah. so joe rogan's like they were friends, so he got all, and the lady that made the movie Road Runner that should be on HBO Max in like a month or something like that. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I already watched like the documentary. I watched on that app. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I already saw it. But anyway, she was on there, so he was like, first five minutes, he's already like crying and shit on there with the lady, and I was like, mm-hmm. I can't even watch. I can't watch. Not that I, I want to watch. Like I want to hear like the stories, but. I can't like this is too down. Like I don't want to be it is. sad and shit. Like especially when he started talking about uh Mitzi Shore from yeah, yeah. the comedy store. Yeah. Like every stuff time. like that. Like yeah, I don't know. I'm really I like to watch comedy movies because I want to be happy all the yeah. time. Like I don't know. <laughs> I want to watch shit that makes me sad all the time. Yeah. I don't know how people do it. Like watch just dramas and this that yeah. and the other. I'm like yeah, that's why you're sad all the yeah. time because you just watch this shit. I pretty much go like I watch a couple action movies if they're somebody's goods in it or something mm-hmm. like that but it's pretty much comedies and then i watch horror movies but yeah uh, i mean I like i can't do that like them just fucking i want to kill myself and this shit yeah. the whole movie like fuck that but like drama movies wouldn't you consider like the departed like a drama no, i mean sort of but it's not yeah like but not that. like uh there's a difference like yeah, the, i'm thinking like more of that i don't want to say girly but it's like, it's like the ones that, that are really depressed. Like I'm depressed. I'll just say like depressing movies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like there was that. I don't know. I can't remember. Was it? You ever see um, This Is Us? Who's the main girl in that? I don't know. Can't don't remember. Know, name. Either way, like there was a movie she was in, and she's like, finally marries this dude or whatever, and she has cancer, and she ends up dying. It's just like, who wants to watch yeah. that? <laughs> Sit through all that. I thought it was like a Steve Carell movie, and his son was like addicted to heroin. I forget, it was something about. I want to say it's not, it's not about a boy, but this is my boy or something like that. So I was like, "Well, it's Steve Carell, like I want to watch it, yeah, because he's like a good actor or whatever." Mm-hmm. But like the whole movie was just so depressing and sad, and I was like, "I can't." Fuck it. Like I yeah. watched it, but I was like, "God damn, this is why I don't sit through these movies." Yeah, <laughs> like when it's done, I'm just like, I need to watch something else. Like, <laughs> what was that one Steve Carell where he? Um... With Ryan Gosling. Oh, that was good, though. Yeah. That was funny. Well, it, was like a, it wasn't like it was like a sad, but it was like a romantic crazy, comedy. Crazy but it, love. 
something. Yeah, like, crazy stupid love. Cra- yeah, crazy. Yeah. Like that was good. It was it, funny. Yeah, because yeah, it had just like, even at one part, he's just like when his wife told him mm-hmm. everyone to get a divorce, he just jumped out jumped the car. Out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah if you don't stop talking, yeah. I'm gonna jump out the car. <laughs> <laughs> just jumps out. Just rolled the fuck out of the car. Yeah, like that movie was good because it had like some, and then all of a sudden it would be like yeah. funny again or whatever. But like, yeah, that's different. I can deal with that. Some of it, like whatever that movie was, it was just like the whole thing was like, damn, I'm depressed as shit now yeah. watching this. <laughs> so even like when I watched that Road Runner document, which I already knew it was gonna be whatever, but they start talking to people. And you're like watching old. I used to watch all of his shows, Anthony Bourdain. Mm-hmm. So, but then they'll show like clips of him, like when he's talking and he's talking about like shit like that, like suicide and stuff like that. But you don't notice it when you're watching the show. You don't even right, think yeah. about it. And then all of a sudden, you put it all together in a clip, and you're like, "Damn, this guy's been thinking about it for like yeah, no. 15, 20 years now." <laughs> like shit, and I watched all that stuff and never even pictured it because he's talking to, like Iggy Pop one time, like they're on a beach or something like that. Or no, they're like, well, they were on a beach at some point. But anyway, they're in a restaurant and he's like. Talking about love and how he can't like accept love or something like that. He was like, "Who hey, Iggy Pop or no Andy Bourdain?" Bourdain. He was talking to him about it, and he was like, "You just accept love, like it makes you happy. You just mm-hmm. do things that make you happy." And he was like, "Yeah, I like to love people, but I can't accept their love or something." I'm like, "Yeah, this is deep when you think about <laughs> it now." Like he was talking about how that like it's just not worth life. And I'm like, "God damn!" Like I remember the episode, but I didn't click in your head that yeah. the dude's gonna kill himself one day. Do you remember that? <laughs> reminds me of uh, Knocked Up. You remember that with Paul Rudd and. Uh... Of course I did. <laughs> well, Paul Rudd and um, Seth Rogen were in the uh, when they went to Las Vegas, and he's like, "I just can't accept love." Yeah, he's yeah. like, "You can't accept love." He's like, "Fucking love you, man." <laughs> they were on like mushrooms yeah, or whatever. Yeah, still watching you that damn circus LA shit. <laughs> he just kept bringing chairs in. He's like, "Just dude, it just buys chairs." <laughs> he's like, "I'm really high up." <laughs> he just starts sitting. There. I haven't watched that in a while. Yeah, it's been. A- what was it? Because that was the second part, right? This is forty. The second. Oh, it's um, a, it's say a, say yeah, it's a kind of a sequel, yeah. yeah. Well, because what's her name, Catherine Heigl? They they said nobody works with her. Yeah. I was just reading like a list of people that nobody wants to work with, it, but mm-hmm. it didn't really make sense because some of them were. It was I forget it is. I forget who put it out. Whoever puts these fucking lists out, or like when you read them, because one of them was um, the dude who made the wrestler. Oh, I know his name. He's. It's all beat the fuck up. Yeah. But they were talking about him, and I was like, when you when you actually read it, they're like, not that nobody went to work with him. He just went through, like, a hard time in his life, so he didn't act. And then yeah. they were like, well, he made The Wrestler, which was great. And they were just talking about how his, like, looks and keeps him out of movies because he's all beat the hell up from boxing and this, that, yeah. and the other. And I was like, well, that doesn't count. But she was on that list, how hard she is to work with. And, yeah. Well, because she like, talked a lot of shit on that movie. Yeah. Well, it wasn't even, they were talking about, like, they gave like a short paragraph, but it was, I guess, like every director, she would just be like, This is the worst fucking shit. Like, I'm not reading this shit. I'm not doing oh, this. Oh, really? Yeah, like all these movies that were like hit movies. And I like, mean, Knocked Up was like, Yeah, <laughs> pretty popular. Yeah, like they didn't, I, I forget what they were or what directors they were, but yeah. But like the list was like, some of them were like, It's not, they were just going through some shit. It wasn't because they're hard. And they yeah. said, uh, I don't even remember who she forget her name, the girl that was in Dirty Dancing. Like the I main know character, I don't know her name. like she was super popular. Well, she got a nose job after Dirty Dancing, apparently, and then oh, nobody really? would cast her because she, she did have a big nose. Yeah, but they, but like, yeah. but it, everybody liked it, so they were because she looked distinct or whatever. And mm-hmm. then as soon as she got it, nobody cast her. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that you don't see her anymore. Like after pretty much, I mean, I don't know if it was right after Dirty Dancing, but that was pretty much her last big movie. So, I was, they were like, she fixed her nose, and then nobody liked her. No, get. <laughs> Every time, kid, never fails. Kid just wants to be on the podcast. Mm-hmm. So, oh, good. You just come here for uh, for one I minute. I need you. Ask you this question about a battery. Mm-hmm. So, oh, <laughs> can I have some milk? Yeah. Yeah, but there's. Damn a, it! What the? Hell what is, the this? Heck? <laughs> is that the one you dropped? <laughs> no, because I put that was uh, I dropped one of my the big ones. <laughs> He's like, don't yeah. open that, Dad. <laughs> yeah, he was like, I try to tell you. Damn. You just said, I don't know why that. Because <laughs> that was off the door. I know, and that was sitting here for a while. It's too funny. You're partying over there. I know, I am. It's all. I didn't get on the fucking <laughs> keyboard. I'm dying. Damn it. <laughs> You're popping champagne. I am, too. Damn, I forgot I was going to say something. Now I can. Really lost my train of thought. That's weird. Just when beer spills all over you, you can't yeah. think of shit. <laughs> oh, man. 
That's a good clip. Yeah. And my hands all wet. The whole thing's the whole all wet. Up. Usually I have a thing out here because I usually wipe up the. I know. I don't have nothing. Bottle, no, Bradley, Bradley, was Bradley was out there. <laughs> Give me a paper towel. <laughs> he said, where'd you go? <laughs> Get back here. Hand me a damn paper towel. I got my elbow all over here now. I was watching some guy. Like we were talking about wine mm-hmm. last week or whatever. Yeah. And he tried all. I forget how many it was. I want to say it was like 18 people. Like he cut it down like uh, musicians and then celebrities that make wine. So like first one he did was Jay Z's Ace of Spades. Oh, I didn't. Oh, well, he has a wine. It's like a wine champagne type oh. deal. It's called Ace of Spades. Three hundred fifty bucks. So the dude's like one of these like guys that taste wine and like yeah. grades them and stuff like that. So he's like trying it and he's like, no. He's <laughs> he was like it's good, but he was like you're three hundred fifty bucks. All the rest of the wines and stuff was on there was like maybe the top was like forty bucks. <laughs> oh really? Jay Z's three hundred and fifty. It's his dollars. name is what's yeah, selling like it. Yeah, like the Ace of Spades. They're like it sells like yeah, like the grades, but it had. They had the Maynard dude on there. Um, I forget who was on. There was like a lot of, a lot. Like the best one he said was Dwayne Wade's from NBA guy. Yeah, yeah. Like his is called um, damn. What's it called? Three something. I don't know what it's called. Anyway, he said that was like the best one of them all. It was a regular one. It was a, yeah, like all different kind of wines, but it was like they had people like Madonna had one. He tried it. And that shit was made in New Hampshire or something like that. He was like, I don't know if you guys know anything about wine or, like, pay attention that much. He was like, but just so you know, New Hampshire doesn't make wine. <laughs> it's like she just put her name on this label. Yeah. He was like, and it tastes like some shit you would buy in your grocery store. So I forget how he described it, but it was, like, it was pretty much the garbage one. But it was like, you know, if you drink wine, like, whatever his is, three, I don't called three marks or something like that. I forget, but. Mm. Which I figured it was like when I saw his name because apparently he has like a wine tasting club in the NBA. Oh, like really? After games and stuff. Instead of going and get like partying, they'll go and taste, taste wine. wines and stuff <laughs> like that. So I figured like when his name when I was on there, I was like, it's probably good because he probably put some actual like met real people that make wine and stuff like that. But so it was pretty cool. Like some of them had cool bottles, like Post Malone had a cool ass bottle and stuff like that. And it was like you said, most of them were pretty good, but some of them like. Madonna's was just funny because yeah. he was like turned it around. And he's like New Hampshire. He was like, <laughs> was like nobody in New Hampshire makes wine. Yeah. He was like this shit is just mass produced or something. And then they just throw a label on it. So. Does anybody care about Madonna anymore? <laughs> that was the first thing. But I was like, I didn't even know she made a wine. And then who gives a shit really? <laughs> like, are you not going to sell it off your name? I guess there's still people to give a shit. Like they go to those old ass concerts. Yeah, stuff like that. You know. There was a lot of people in there that I didn't know. I forget, I forget had their name. Well, now, what's his name? The dude from Tool, Maynard Keenan or something like that? He's probably on there. Yeah, probably, because he has his own restaurant and whatever, and yeah. he's always on Rogan talking about his, his wine. Yeah, I forget who it was on. There's some, oh, it's Snoop Dogg. He was the other weird one. He has a yeah. wine? He has, <laughs> you ever get what he's, he has, and if you scan the bottle, it t- he talks to you. Oh, <laughs> I've seen them before. They had, like, the label or whatever, mm-hmm. but he was like, he it tastes like, Juice and punch and shit. <laughs> yeah, he was like, he was like, I don't know what this is either. But he's, he, he said it wasn't like bad tasting. It's just mm-hmm. not. He wouldn't just consider, not like a wine. He said thing. it wouldn't consider it wine. And he was like, he wouldn't call this wine. But that's like, if I, oh, John, I made my own beer. Yeah, and it just he tastes, tastes like, like fruit punch that you're yeah. gonna get a little drunk off. That's pretty much what he said. He was like, fruit punch that you're gonna get a little tipsy off of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like when Trish was over here, we can. I was saying like I don't drink wine like yeah. that. I can't. I just get like weird headaches from. I don't know. Yeah, that's how. I'm, I think like the way back when I lived like on Ives Avenue, like they were drinking wine. So I was like, oh, like first couple times, I was like, this is mm-hmm. good. Like it's good. It's I good. Felt yeah. good. And then like the little buzz was weird. It was like different than drinking. That's beer what everybody and all that says. Stuff. Yeah. But then like like you like the second time, I was like, it's fucking. Make and me I would feel weird. Like, almost it's not hung over good. before you even go to yeah, bed. Yeah. Like like it's usually you're hung over the next so day. It's stop. Like, yeah, I'm like I'm already hung over, and usually like beer is the worst. It's like just dehydrates you pretty yeah. much. I'll go home. Like when I leave here, I usually go home and drink the shit I was on order. And then I yeah. fill up a cup and I put it next to my bed. So when I wake up in the morning, I just drink it. Right mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what I do. I got but that. I don't, like, I don't drink as much as you guys usually drink, but yeah. still. Did uh, I tell you, you got that liquid IV, that apple pie? Nah. You guys were talking about liquid IV last week, I think. Yeah. But I got the Santino thing and got like 20% off or whatever. So it was only like 18 bucks, which is. Pretty cheap for liquid yeah. IV, and the apple pie is pretty good. Yeah, they, Had one earlier, and I usually have one before I get strong. a bed. Like when I bought it, I the first I one. I didn't know you were supposed to use sixteen ounces. 
Yeah. Okay. So that makes sense. So yeah, I didn't. I never read it. I just know that it comes in like the packages. Yeah. So I started putting like the first one I had. I was like, this is way too much. It was like orange or something like that. Yeah. So I put started putting. I would do half. And I that was pro- like, that I, makes I was more like, sense. okay, yeah. this is good. I, that's probably why because I'm yeah. sure they have a big ass cup of <laughs> instead of just like a normal yeah. cup of uh, water and then throw that in there. I'm like, this shit is like strong as hell. It is. <laughs> it's like, like it don't seem or, like it's something like that... orange or I forget what flavor it was, but yeah. Like they have a Costco, they have like the dragon fruit one, and there's like a lemon one, which is pretty good. But yeah. I just wanted to try the apple pie, but it is a little strong if you put it in a water bottle. Like I like to fill a solo cup up and then mix that packet in there because yeah. I didn't know. I thought it was just a cup for the thing. Yeah. And I actually listened to his. Well, ad. solo cup should be good, right? That's six yeah. Minutes. That's what I mean. Like I yeah, fill okay. that up, and nah. that's good. But if you put it in a water bottle, I think it is. Yeah, because that's what it's I was over doing. a cup, but it yeah. still seems strong. But sometimes. What I do is you got to drink a little bit because you can't get the thing in there yeah. to shake it Throw up. Water, water so bottle. it's yeah. probably yeah, that's probably why. Because I think I was doing water bottles too. I was like taking yeah. them to work like in the morning or whatever, and I was just drinking them. But I was like, this shit is so strong. So I, know it I was is. like, I gotta, I'll just do half and then drink the other half when I get home or whatever. So who knows? I use that go shit. Like today, I put like just like a tiny, not even a full scoop of that shit in there just for mm-hmm. the taste of it. Yeah. Because right now i got to get, it's like bubblicious something. So, and you smell it. Like I said, I told you before, but it, it smells just, just like, like bubblicious, yeah. but it's not my favorite one. Like after a while it gets old, you're like, I don't yeah. fucking drink bubblicious. <laughs> but it's crazy. Like when, like me and Billy would be at her till like three o'clock in the morning playing a drinking game. Mm-hmm. And then like I make one of them things and they taste like your body fucking loves it. Yeah. Like when you're drinking, <laughs> it's like, oh my God, it's so good. Like you just want some fucking water. What was his, uh, Joe Berg, remember I, last week I was like, he was drinking or took some animal dewormer. Mm-hmm. Apparently that was all a lie. Since him and uh, Segura talked Segura about it, talked as soon as it started, yeah. I was like, yeah, I guess yeah. I should stop just reading the news. And <laughs> yeah, I could have waited. I guess I could have just waited yeah. for, for that. He was like, my doctor gave it to me. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, it's not a dewormer. <laughs> yeah, or maybe it is. It, it just, I think it, I don't understand because yeah. I. it is a dewormer, but yeah. I don't know. I guess there's a, I don't know. Yeah. He said his doctor subscribed yeah. for him, so he had to go to a pharmacy and get it. But I don't yeah. know. It was just funny that it was like the first 10 minutes of his podcast. He's like, oh, that. hey there, yeah. your old horse <laughs> dewormer, yeah. Rogan, or something like that. Yeah, He's shit. like, do we sue CNN? <laughs> like, I didn't even know. Like, CNN said yeah, It's probably that. the article, like, when I write, like, I just look on my news app or whatever, and I'm just, like, scrolling, and I see Joe Rogan's well, because name, they always, I'm just like, ah. I, I never get, Rogan. Rogan. <laughs> it'll say, oh, a popular person, like, or they won't say the name, like, yeah. they're. I don't ever click on any yeah. of it. I just read the headline and just be like, I don't want to read it. I just saw like, Joe, like they had a picture of Joe Rogan and then it said something about whatever that brand, whatever that shit was. And then it's an Ivermectin. animal. Yeah. yeah. It was a dewormer. And I was like, ah, let me like scroll down yeah. and look and see who wrote it or whatever it is. And then what else? Today, mm-hmm. uh, which I don't even know if it's, I should have looked at the date, but I'm pretty sure it's new. Uh, John Mulaney. I didn't know he was like a drug addict. I didn't know either. Did, so that's new news, right? I don't know. <laughs> Cause I didn't on, know either, but I did. He was on Seth Meyers. Oh, I didn't see him on Seth Meyers, but and I seen somebody. I just know he... He got a divorce, which I heard about that. And he's... Olivia Munn is pregnant? Is that what you're... Yeah. And yeah. Then, like, he talked about that, but apparently for like a year he was like going in and out of drug rehab for cocaine. Yeah, I didn't know all that. Out, yeah, Isn't he like, like a clean comic too? Yeah, he's like... Not, like it's. I uh, never seen yeah, like his stand up. I seen like oh, you never clips. Seen his stand his stand up's funny as shit. Yeah. yeah. I know yeah. he's like pretty popular, but like Yeah. No, I think he says like it's not like fuck this, fuck that or mm-hmm. anything like that, but it's like Maybe yeah. it's just he yeah. don't he wear like a suit and tie and yeah, stuff. Like so that. maybe that's it's what makes like, me think. Smart, but, it was, but like he was on Seth Rogen, they were getting or not Seth Rogen, Seth, Seth Myers. Because mm-hmm. I guess he was at the intervention when they they told him he was like picking up a or coming to a friend's apartment to they were gonna go to dinner together. Oh. And he said when he opened up the door, he's like, he's like, as soon as I saw you and you were the first person I saw, he's like, this is an intervention. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, just want you guys to know, I already know I have a problem and I need to go get help. Yeah. I was like, oh, I never knew that. Just because watching his comedy and the way he dresses, you wouldn't even think like right. he, But I mean, that one comic just passed away from. There was a couple, wasn't there? Well, a couple did it, but. The one I thought the away. one girl was the only one. Like, I guess she used to open. Oh, for it was Joey three, Diaz. right? But yeah, no, the one must three. not have been famous because they don't even talk about them. But I thought they did yeah. say two passed away, and then one. The whatever the girl yeah. was. I don't even know the guy. 
when yeah, I, I saw him, I think I've seen him before, but I don't never. I never. Yeah, seen, see, like, like I stand just up. was to, so they, I didn't see any pictures. Uh, okay, I just happened to like the girl's okay now. Yeah, but because I saw her, like she has a she's going to be on something to talk about it or whatever. But, like, oh, really? Apparently, but then I was watching um, what was a fighter and a kid, and they were talking mm-hmm. about how cocaine is like a huge thing in the stand up comedy. But they just came thing. out of nowhere, and I was like, "What are they talking about? Like yeah. I don't even know. Like, oh, yeah. should we talk about it? Yeah, I already read it. Like last week when it happened, I read about it. And I was like, I don't know the dude. Yeah, and I just they just said stand up comedian, and I'm just like, all right, cool. And then they said like, I think somebody else died too, and then but he must not have been popular because nobody talks about him. Yeah, or something. I mean, it Maybe could have been did. somebody wanted to come up. Like, there's yeah. a lot of, but they were all together because they went and partied after yeah something a show or something like that. Yeah. They were all together, and then the girl because it had lace with fentanyl or something yeah. like that. But you yeah, when the fighter and the kid, and they're like, oh, your cocaine's not clean? Weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. You're just buying fucking, like, you already know they cut it with uh, baking soda, so mm-hmm. why wouldn't they cut it with other shit? But I didn't know fentanyl was cheap, so in that, like, another, that's a drug that everybody dies from. Yeah. So Because they put it yeah, in. Because usually you would cut it with something like, good cocaine and then cut it with something that was cheap like baking soda you can go to walmart and buy baking soda yeah. or baking powder and i was like so wouldn't fentanyl be expensive to go get you have to get that from know. a pharmacy yeah. <laughs> like it's a I have no idea. it's a drug but it's not a drug that you're supposed to be doing like that so yeah. it's weird that it was cut with that but i don't know it must be cheaper than cocaine so yeah if you're cutting it with it so <laughs> i don't know but anyway yeah that's always weird i didn't know it was like a i mean i figured drugs are something but yeah so like, that's the most popular drugs for comedians i guess because you're going around like all night long doing yeah. shows and staying up i guess that would make sense but I like if you listen to um mark maron at all no nah, i mean i know who he is and yeah. i don't watch his podcast or anything like that, yeah but. his podcast like i like his podcast but he was on uh two bears one cave when um burt kreischer was doing his movie and he was like talking about rogan or whatever like but then he started asking about um, the cocaine stuff, like back in the day when he used to do it. Yeah. And I guess he got real messed up when him and uh, what's his name, Sam Kinison, like uh, he was yeah. like on a three yeah. day thing where he just couldn't do anything no more. And then yeah, it's like certain things. Like like I don't even think about cocaine nowadays. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like who the fuck is doing these drugs? I mean, I know there is. It's the same. Yeah. Like like I've like, never seen anybody do cocaine. Yeah, I've never been life. anywhere. I mean, I've <laughs> seen cocaine obviously, but. I've never been like it's not like oh shit Brad you've done a lot of coke like what are you doing like it's not something it's just like I don't know I don't know anybody personally nowadays yeah that's still doing it or I was just like I just thought it was something that like went away yeah it's so it's so uh, I always talk about like cigarettes I always think it's weird that people still smoke cigarettes and I yeah. see people smoke them like when I'm in the car or like driving and obviously see my flick one out yeah I'm like somebody smoking cigarettes fucking yeah, weird I know. even though I know people that smoke cigarettes like, just like something about wife. it yeah like, yeah like your wife and I just think like it's something fucking weird about it yeah like, like it's not like, somebody told you a long time ago it's not good for you yeah you're still doing it <laughs> it is like um cause they were on there talking I guess Segura like started smoking like later on, like in his thirties, and Marin was like, "In your thirties, why would you even start that?" Yeah, he's like, "I was started smoking when I was 14. Yeah, he was like, he got off cocaine, but apparently nicotine is like the hardest thing to get yeah. off of. He said he was on the like the the gum and then the lozenges and all that stuff, and like somebody would like give him a cigar and then he would get a cigar and then he'd be back on the oh, lozenges yeah. again because it's like a nicotine yeah. kick or My whatever. I've so. been doing it for. Ever they've got like hypnotized before, yeah. They did that, and Trish did that too. 200 hours, she's still smoking. So, did she do it like after because theirs didn't last? I mean, it lasted like, yeah, she got a couple months, months. she got like three months. I was gonna say a couple months because they make it like if you taste it, it tastes, yeah, like ashes that are in your mouth or something crazy. I I forget what it was, but I remember they're doing it and they're old now and they still smoke and they still try to hide it. You'd be like, wanna go for a walk? Like we know what you're doing. Like you've been yeah. smoking for like ever since I've been born. <laughs> like yeah. I'm, ever since I met you, like you guys been smoking. And I know they yeah. But uh, like it's just weird that that's the hardest thing ever that nicotine is Yeah. We're like other maybe it's cause other shit is expensive as shit, but cigarettes are pretty expensive yeah, now they're too. Expensive but now too. I mean I'm sure it's not I don't know what fucking cocaine costs. Yeah, I don't to go either. get some. <laughs> um I don't even know anybody that has cocaine, mm-hmm. so I don't know these kind of answers, but I'm just saying but they said that stuff laced with fentanyl, like, didn't get out of one 
out of one kilo or whatever, they can get like three out of it. Yeah. If you lace but it I just with think that. that's weird because I would it figure, is like because it's like a, fentanyl would be expensive because it's a pharmaceutical drug. Yeah. So why? Like <laughs> I, I have must no not, clue. <laughs> must be easy. Like it must be easy for somebody to make at home. Yeah. Like whatever the actual thing is, but I don't fucking know. Yeah, like I was saying, uh, I just I won't do coke, so I won't die. No, I'm not doing cocaine either. <laughs> I'll drink <laughs> like I hate, I get mad when I smoke a cigarette. Like when I, I get drunk and <laughs> play around, like oh, I'm smoking. Yeah, Next day, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'll drink a Red Bull. Like, I want some energy or yeah. monster, most likely monster. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what actually <laughs> at home. Like I went to work at five this morning. And I was like, man, I can't wait to go get a Jaeger bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah. Because usually, like, on Fridays when I'm at work, I try not to drink, like, energy drinks. Yeah. Because I know, like, I'm getting – not not that it's a whole energy drink, but I yeah. know I'm drinking at least two while I'm here. So, I was like, I try not to, like, fucking drink any. I still do sometimes, but depends what it is. Like, I today did. I did. Today we got the 20-ounce Red Bull. Yeah. Just picked them out, though. <laughs> yeah, like, I'll do that. Like, sometimes they won't. Like, I always drink the white monster or something. They don't have them. I just don't drink them. I'll drink yeah. water or something like that. But, like, today. Today it was, like, 5 o'clock in the morning. So, I think I went to break at, like, 7 in the morning. I had a monster at, like, 7 o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. Well, I always start my day at 5.30. Like, I drink my monster while I'm going into work. But, I mean, sometimes you work 5.30, 10.30. You yeah, need so a, that's just crazy. a couple energy <laughs> drinks. Yeah. need something to get you going. Yeah. My beers are already gone. This thing was all on the floor. This sucks. Wasted. <laughs> so what else been going on? Nothing really. Nothing too exciting. You can get some some guests in here. Do I something. I told you people are nervous though. It's just weird for the first time. Yeah. You get Jesse's, he can fight with her. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a rite of passage. It is. Everybody, like, yeah. everybody has to have one good argument. Except yeah. he straight called her a bitch. <laughs> then, so you gotta say. Yeah, sometimes say the good. It was you got a couple drinks in you. <laughs> it was super. I was like, oh shit, it got real. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's just fun because you're arguing. You're yeah. like, oh, you bitch. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. <laughs> That shit was too funny. And we got some views on it, so it worked. Yeah, it worked out well. I wonder if it's sex party or if somebody, like, I would like to know if somebody's like, oh, we got an argument. Yeah. And, like, people watch it. Because I know Tris, like, said she started watching it. But she didn't get to that part, right? Yeah, that's what she said. Yeah, no. I was like, that's the whole, I thought you watched it for that reason. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's usually skip. what happens. Like, that's like, the last time we talked part. about, when we were talking about fat people. Yeah. And then <laughs> and she was like, she it. watched yeah. it then. So. Yeah, a little, who knows. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's getting quiet. The, you can actually yeah. hear the crickets. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is, we add that in for sound effects. Mm-hmm. I don't have no more beer, man. I need to I drink it. I get you one. I'm just right behind me. Yeah, just go gra- just grab me. Pop this. Grab me yeah, one of them beer like boys. I don't know what you're doing with your beers. I don't know. What, it's been sitting here for the whole, there. before we even started, right? Like that one? Yeah. yeah like it gave, and it was one sitting on the door, yeah. so it's not like it was. Rolling around, man. I'm more nervous about these. I got them all laying around. Mm. (laughs) You think that works? It was coming up. No, it was coming up. Was it really? Yeah, it's still foamy. The hell? Maybe they. I don't know if it gets too cold or what. I don't know. I don't feel like they're that cold. (laughs) Not to explode. Like you think if they got cold, it would just be. I don't don't know, but it was coming up. But I mean, obviously, because that shit exploded. (laughs) Because I was sitting there talking, I wasn't even paying attention. Because trying to just be a rock star, be like <laughs> Stone Cold. <over laughs> yeah. <here. laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> I was um, I was telling Jesse before you got out here. There's, I don't know if you remember who he is, skateboarder Corey Kennedy, and he killed his in a car accident. Uh, oh, I thought you were uh, about to say Terry Kennedy. No. <laughs> no, that's, that's a difference. Of, have you heard anything about that? No, nah, not a thing. You should have looked that up. He's probably like, anyway, this guy, like Corey Kennedy, he was like one of my favorite skateboarders, and he was sponsored by Nike and all this shit. So one night he they had got done or whatever, and then him and a film filmer guy had they were partying, like drinking and doing drugs and shit like that. So they crashed a car, and the filmer died. So he got convicted, like involuntary like manslaughter, manslaughter type yeah. deal. So anyway, there was like a big like his. The guy's wife didn't want him to go to jail. 
because they were, you know, they were best friends pretty yeah. much and all this stuff. He's like, he's a good person, and it's not like he wanted to kill my husband, blah, blah, blah. Everybody's and in he, that situation. Yeah, and, they're, and but anyway, like, the judge, no matter what, like, you're going, you went, yeah. he went to jail. Tw- I forget what it was. But it was, like, 12 years, but he only did maybe half of that or something like that. Either which way, it's a long time. So, of course, all the sponsors dropped him and all this stuff. Right. So, But he's out now. Like, he just got out. So it was, like, six years ago then? That he was in there? Yeah. yeah. like, this happened a lot. Like, I had his sneakers. And, like, he had a sneaker on Nike and everything. Like, he was getting a lot of money. And I should have kept them because they're probably worth something. But, probably. <laughs> but I wore the shit out of them. Yeah. And anyway. But anyway, so he's out now. But he has uh, the ankle bracelet on on his thing. So I've been watching, like, little videos, which I didn't really notice it. And then uh, my nephew sent me, like, he was like, oh, did you see him, like, skating with the ankle bracelet on? And I was like, no. So I went home and, like, watched it. And I was just thinking, like, if you have an ankle bracelet on, if you fall on a skateboard and it, like, cracks, you think the cops will, like, come? Yeah, like thinking you like think you're think trying uh, to break out of yeah. it. Yeah. Like, like I was like, that's how he was like, I don't know. He was like, well, first of all, think about how uncomfortable skating with a, or doing anything with an ankle bracelet yeah. on probably is. Like, I was like, yeah, he probably got cut all up and down this thing. But I was wondering, like, they would come, like, you're at a skate park, like, and they can't leave whatever yeah. area, wherever he lives at. I'm guessing it's somewhere in California or something like that. But I was like, I wonder if they come, like, and just be like, Fuck's this guy trying to do break out of this thing? <laughs> He's like, I just fell. <laughs> yeah, I just fell. Like, you know, all of a sudden your fucking SWAT team's there. <laughs> I don't trying know. To kick I don't know how that works, but it's a 12 stair. <laughs> They're like, where are we showing up at? Where's this mm-hmm. guy at? But it, it was just funny because. Is he going to school? He's at some school. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. It's the same. Oh, he's following you again. That's cool. The same. And look, I still have 103 followers, so. <laughs> I say, I'm at low. How are you going to follow twice in one thing? One thing. One, what? Two, one hour. Yeah. <laughs> one hour you followed you twice. We've been on for an hour and two minutes. Yeah. So it was like four minutes after, so. Still, what the fuck, man? It's like, you don't want to follow me. We get it. <laughs> what if I should just block him or whatever? That's nah, fucking a pop-up. Keeps you entertained. It is. Wait, but look, his name is different. See, it says Haas 00312 dash is... And the Haas with the, like the two oh. underscore zero zero three one two. He just changes it. <laughs> I don't know. Why does it say one is three one two is watching and one is and just zero zero three one two? Yeah. So the thank you is what I put in there for people who follow. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> it looks like it says thank you for following him. <laughs> Thank you for following. And then right. It's yeah, yeah. it like you read it real quick. It's like, oh, you follow him. You're thanking him. But it's weird. Like, they're, it's the same dude, but it's yeah, like yeah. the names are different. It is. It's one of those games. I was watching, uh, you're watching videos of like scammers and then people like hacking into the scammers place. Yeah. I was just I've watching. Seen, I was just yeah. like a random one I was watching, but he like, he hacked in like the, they called him and then he, went through the whole deal and mm-hmm. then he was like when he's talking to him he hacked into their camera so he's like he's got like this whole like place in india like he's just looking at them all and he's just talking to me he's <laughs> like yeah tell the dude in the blue shirt to just sit down and the guy's like looking around you see he tried to put like his thumb over the camera and then he's like pulling all of a sudden you see people gathering around they're all looking in there and they just knock it over <laughs> he's like dude i can still hear you yeah like, you just knocked the camera over. why did you not he's like pick it up we can have a conversation it was funny as <laughs> shit but some of them i watched like one where they made um you no, know, Joe Rogan, that per- well, whoever makes that cartoon. Oh, the Polytune? Yeah, like about, well, somebody made one. They were like, the scammer was talking to him. And it was probably like the funniest shit I ever saw, like for that type of deal. And he is like, um, guy kept telling him, he was trying to get like his, the card number or something like that. Like go to the store, get yeah. this card. Oh, yeah. The one where you say, oh, you're $2,000 in debt. But if you give us uh, yeah, it was something, but iTunes he, cards but the guy or kept Amazon. like, fuck whatever you like, yeah. gave him like two numbers. And he's like, oh, my dog just shit on the carpet. <laughs> and the guy's like okay well you can handle that later let's do this yeah or something like this he was like this is important he was like i gotta clean this up yeah <laughs> so it was like five minutes go by and he comes back and he's like all right let's do it he was like now where are we at and he was like i got whatever number zero zero three or some yeah. bullshit like that and he was like okay he was like i'll tell me he didn't just piss he just pissed on it <laughs> <laughs> and when they had like the cartoon the whole time so they got yeah. the dog coming he's just like pissing on the carpet <laughs> and then the guy's like losing his shit by the time it's like over yeah. and he was like i already know you're trying to scam he was like yeah. at the end of it but it was like the cartoon made it like hilarious like he was like outside walking the dog and shit while this guy's still waiting on the phone yeah there's a dude that was, does that on twitch like he just 
goes answers yeah maybe that's what or, i watched like yeah. it was like yesterday i watched it but it was just funny because he like got under their camera but it was just funny they just knocked the thing over <laughs> he was like that didn't do anything he was like i can still hear you and everything he's yeah. like you're still connected you just knocked the TV, like the little uh camera off your thing <laughs> yeah it was too funny that was like you see uh live free die hard mm-hmm. <laughs> where he like uh put his hand over the camera and like started talking to him. Yeah. He's like, just cause you cover the camera. Yeah, don't doesn't mean like, anything, but that's how they were. He just knocked it on, like <laughs> knocked it down. And he's like, I can still hear everything. <laughs> yeah. It was just funny as shit. It was just funny. Like it was, it was like two guys came over first and he was like, whatever, like describing them as they came up. He mm-hmm. was like, and then all of a sudden you just see like everybody cause like nine or 10 people working in these little rooms where they scam you at, I yeah. guess or whatever. But, that's weird oh, because, like, people, they probably got some people doing that. What's that? Just saying, like, oh, just if you buy an Amazon no, card. If people come into work and they get scammed and they want us to give them their money back and stuff like that. Like, it has nothing to do with us. Yeah. We had one guy, like, you couldn't, like, I haven't seen him in a long time, but, like, a couple of years back, he would come in all the time and he would they would get him to buy the steam the steam cards yeah for yeah yeah and he was like he's a is <laughs> like he i have to go up front all the time when he was there when i was like a sport manager or whatever and he would come up there and he'd be like this uh i bought a 40 dollars steam card or whatever it was and he was like and the guy said that it you didn't get the money on there but he had already took the money off there. yeah so and he was like i was like listen it's a scam like but he couldn't tell him shit <laughs> he's like he's a chief of police somewhere his name like he's texting me it's right here it says chief whatever blah 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 yeah and i was like all right well it's a scam like but there's something wrong i think there's something wrong with the guy obviously if you're falling for it this yeah. many times but he was like he bought like three forty dollar or whatever sixty dollar cards and he was like they said only one worked like so i'm out of 120 or whatever the fucking money calls or whatever it costs he was like yeah. i'm out of this money like you guys going to reimburse me for this and i was like no like <laughs> you obviously sold like it's it's right here on your receipt that it's activate it all that good yeah. stuff like there's nothing we do now and he bought like three more and you try to tell him like don't do it like but you can't that's all you can do like you can't stop him from doing it you can't refuse to do it and i'm just like it's so stupid like to watch people like who is like we are the government we're going to come after you yeah. but he's like he's if you buy us steam police. cards yeah <laughs> like, <laughs> like the chief of police is like yo i need steam cards yeah we're gonna try to get some <laughs> computer games we yeah, had like we had an old lady one time come in like around christmas time and she was like i gotta buy Damn, it was ridiculous, man. It was like 25 gift cards for like, uh, I want to say like $75 a piece. And she was like, I'm going to give them to my, I have to give them to my nieces and nephews. And I was like, you got this many nieces and nephews? And then she was just like, we are like dead silence for a little. Mm-hmm. And she was like, yes. And I was like, I don't think you do. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't have to, like, he was like, I just don't think you do. Like, this, this is why you tell you, you have to do this. And she was like getting angry about it. She was like, I just need them. And I was like, we can't, like, can't do it. Like, those people like if it's a, I guess it says like if it's elderly lady or something like that you yeah. know they're getting scammed and and they just pro- they believe like oh they're calling me on yeah. the phone yeah they're on the phone like, yeah it's just crazy they just but probably believe it was it. her but she was so mad like we can sell we told her we could sell her like three or something like that it was mm-hmm. like, she was like but I need this many I was like you don't have that many this is nephew <laughs> just oh, give them cash yeah yeah <laughs> give them some like, cash just give, you're like you're not doing this like you could just see on her face there because she was getting mad that like we weren't gonna help her out this that and the other I was, I was like this is just a scam like there's no way you need this <laughs> that is weird like I don't know how people believe that because even my grandpa like he gets calls like that and he was like oh okay if that's the case then just come and arrest me then yeah and I just hang <laughs> yeah, up like on the him. IRS ones yeah 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 He's like, you're going to be arrested unless you do this. He's like, all right, well, come arrest me. (laughs) Because he knows it's just bullshit. That's what, like, uh, what's his name? My neighbor there. He lost tons of money to some girl that was going to come see him one day. So. I forgot about that. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I think you talked about that that on here, didn't you? Yeah, I did. A long time ago when it happened. I was just like, yeah, people are crazy. Like, uh, you can't. But I was talking to somebody, and they said, like, for years, somebody knew somebody like they would never meet them and they would just send them money like like for years and i was like you think like every time you're about to meet them something happens like yeah up i did this i'm at the airport yeah Uh, Uh, they got me i can't i got some passports messed up yeah like oh it's been fucking like five years or so but i was i forget who i was talking to i heard it i forget Um, but anyway it was like went on for over five years of this shit like send the money for they could come here help them with their kids all this shit i'm just like god damn <laughs> like at some point you have to be like all right this ain't gonna happen yeah. at all but like this part i guess whatever i was talking to they would actually like they would facetime them or whatever 
yeah. Skype them. So they were like seeing the person, which made it even more real mm-hmm. for them. Boyfriend in the background. <laughs> yeah, probably like walking by. Well, it was I'm like trying to get this money. It was like a dude like talking to a lady or whatever. He yeah, scam her or whatever. That's either, what I mean. Either way, would... like yeah, the same type of deal. Like it just, I don't know. I'd be like, oh, that was well. a dude scamming a lady. Yeah. Oh, it was like an older lady, and then I don't know how old he was, but. But you, after, gotta, like, after, you would like, have to think. Yeah, after like a couple months go by, you're like, oh, mm-hmm. well, you've tried to come here like four times, but you just can't make it. Like, yeah, right. or this, this 22 year old really yeah, likes yeah, me. Yeah, he's really into me. Here I am, 75, he thinking like He don't shit. care I'm a grandma. <laughs> he don't care I'm a great grandma. Yeah, right. He wants he's me to visit. Fake hip. You yeah. <laughs> already broke that. <laughs> Whatever. He still loves me. That's amazing. He loves me. <laughs> he loves me for who I am. <laughs> We're just in different countries. Yep. I'll never get out of this wheelchair, but he still wants to come see me. Take me dancing mm-hmm. <laughs> he said he's gonna spin me around yeah, in my wheelchair yeah, he doesn't care just pure love uh shit yeah people are crazy yeah that is wild wild stuff i don't even try to like open up emails that remotely might be fake like they got amazon ones too that are fake but oh yeah there's <laughs> everything like i got one today that said thanks for paying your some bill that i didn't do and they're like oh just go here and you can get free something no. Yeah. It's like all that. So. Like then there's uh stuff on Instagram. Like you were talking about last week, like when you first got Instagram, some girl was like, Oh, oh yeah, you yeah, should yeah. follow me or yeah. whatever. Like it's all dumb shit. Yeah. And like there's it's funny if you like go on there and then somebody you follow is you could see who's following them. Yeah. And it's like uh, somebody <laughs> fell for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's all like, Oh, like, she uh, likes yeah, me. Dude. Funny. That was like immediately too. Like as soon as I got on there, they were just like, Oh, she's like, Hey, I was like, who's this? Mm-hmm. And I was like, looking up, I was like, oh, you got zero pictures. Yeah. Or whatever it was. And then, like, no followers and then whatever. And I'm like, that's weird. Cause then you go, like, the, let me look it up. And then there's like one with like a fucking check mark next to him. Yeah. Like, oh, you just stole this chick's picture. Yeah. I remember the like, first time, like, I got the request from you because I didn't know you were on there. I was like, who is this? And I looked <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit, he's got social media. Like, you haven't been on nothing. No. You no, were never no. on MySpace or Facebook yeah, or nothing. Still not on. Hot I, I still got it. I'll settle up one day. One day, we got to get it popping. Yeah. So there's a um, a thing called Linktree. Have you ever heard of that? Nope. So it's a, you know, how you can do like one website on Instagram. A lot of people put Linktree, and then you can link like our YouTube, to uh-huh. Twitch channel, and all that. So I should probably do that so we can get got to get more people on this YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Nobody wants so, to go on to YouTube, but if you don't want to watch it live, then you got to watch it on YouTube. Something. Or you do the audio right? version. Yeah. I can't do it. I just can't do audio versions of anything. I like it. It pops on because like, I have my Bluetooth. And as soon as I get in the car, like music will start playing mm-hmm. from my phone or whatever. But I was on that thing and listening to Tom Segura. So it was it yesterday or whatever it was. I like, got in my car. I'm like, damn, music's not popping on. All of a sudden, it's like Tom Segura talking. I'm like, who the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, I mean, shit. driving is different. But like, I mean, like I said before, like the job I have, it's like so yeah. much better than. Well, yeah, you wouldn't be able to watch it anyway. Yeah. Like, just listen to it. I could do that just for something to keep me entertained if I was like, yeah. doing your job or whatever. But nah, it's just something about I just like to see people, how yeah. they react when you're talking or and whatever. And then there's the like on. where you have to watch it. Like uh, when Rogan had David Blaine on there and he's like stabbing yeah. him by. Like I'm not listening to that. <laughs> like, yeah. But like a uh, fighter and a kid has been doing that a lot where they're watching videos and they don't explain nothing. They're like, oh, yeah, I've seen this. This is the part where the thing happens, and it happens. Yeah. And they're like, what are they watching? Yeah. <laughs> just yeah, listening to it. it. I think, yeah, I just couldn't do it. It's like I couldn't sit in there. Like I said, if I was, do- I guess if I was doing something to work, and then that would just be different. Yeah. Just something to keep me entertained. But, I mean, just- you have to deal with customers and everything yeah, else. Yeah, I can't do it anyway. But Speaking yeah. of which, that thing I sent you, how much is that thing? That what? chair I sent you today? The chair. The one that me and I sent you, Trish said she wanted it for free. Oh, I don't know. I didn't even <clears throat> scan She was it like, really. oh, do you think John can get it for a discount? I was like, I don't know. I mean, I can't. I don't think, not right now. There was something. I tried to help this lady out. Like, she bought one of the real, like, the L-shaped outside patio yeah. furniture. And I was like, I said, if it lets me, I'll discount down more for you because we shouldn't be getting any more of that stuff in or whatever. And it, <laughs> something weird popped up. So, I don't know why that stuff doesn't let you. It's probably already discounted though. I'd imagine. I don't know. I didn't have the I price. Ma- on I didn't even know we had it now. And so it must have just came in when I was like on vacation or something uh, like that. Because for the last like couple of days, I've been not out there at all. So yeah, when she you sent me a picture. I'm like, I didn't even know we fucking had that thing <laughs> in the front room. She ain't gonna sit out there. Can you fit that in the front room? 
Yeah, we she cleaned it up out there. Oh, okay. I was like, yeah, oh, you always come in through the back, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm never going to your front room. <laughs> yeah. Like, I know you used to have the movies out there and all that stuff. Yeah, it's not out there no oh, more. Okay. She, like, uh, put a bunch of plants and shit out there now. Uh. Boring out there. <laughs> <laughs> it's boring. Nobody gets Like, we got our yeah. front room. We got the two chairs. And we, we played got, beer pong out there. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Now we just play inside like normal people. But, like, a front room. But we had it out there. And then, like, wintertime, we'll go out there to sit because we'll have that little like fake fireplace thing. Mm-hmm. We got that in between the two chairs or whatever. So, which I got to buy a new one because it died now. What the, <laughs> the, uh, the fireplace? fireplace died. What is it? The, one of those door flame like things where it looks like it's fire. Yeah. yeah it's actual heater. So but what's it run on? Just electric. It just died. And, like, oh. the, uh, so you can't the replace heat part nothing? of it died, but the, like the flame still works. Yeah. So you can put that on, but it's not even worth. It's probably like 60 bucks. I'll just buy yeah. a new one, but. It's not like it's a huge one or anything. It's just like mm-hmm. a little one that just sits there. But I always see them things on sale. Like they have the ones with the TV stand. It's like yeah. a TV stand with the little fireplace in there. I always think about it, like I think it would look cool, but then that bitch just stops working. And you just got a dumb fireplace. Yeah, it's like, oh, what do them logs do? <laughs> yeah. None. No, they just sit there. <laughs> just sit there. You want to watch a movie? Yeah. It's like when people <laughs> buy like way back in the day, they have like the big TV and they have a little one sitting on top of it. Yeah. And they watch my mom and dad used to have the really? old console. My mom loved it. Yeah. I think my uncle had it too, where you opened up the wooden drawers and then the TV was. In we didn't there. have that. Like it was just like a TV built around like it was almost like a shelf looking thing, yeah. and they would put like the stuff on top oh, okay. or whatever. Yeah, we never had the extra TV on top of it no. though. But you can still see people because like yeah. TV died. And now you're stuck with this like, big ass like, fucking thing. But, but this is a nice shelf. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna use it as a shelf now. Yeah, but that's how like. No, that's all I could picture with that. Like, now nah, I just got TV sitting on a yeah. dead ass. <laughs> this fucking thing doesn't even light up to make it look cool. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> like, if the light goes, it's just, there's a bulb. Yeah. So you can just replace that, but the heater thing went, which, like I said, I could probably replace that, too. Well, I'd just buy a new one. Yeah. <laughs> it's not worth my hassle to go. Like I said, it wasn't that damn expensive to do it, but we'll sit out there. But, like I said, we don't use our front room for shit. Yeah. Like, so, we just so, like, we have the sodas and stuff out there, which in wintertime is good. Like, you can throw sodas and they're cold. Yeah. Now, it's, they're not that cold, right. but. Well. That is. We make it a short one. <laughs> I mean, it's <laughs> over an hour, yeah, so. It's, over there. it's just hard. We got to get some more. Some more peepees. Some more peepees. <laughs> some need an internship. Yeah. <laughs> or somebody to, like, like, look up, like, the, uh. Stuff we can comment on, like stuff going on. I know, yeah. Just um, or we just get Billy to come back. Yeah, we're that too. Billy, we're trying. <laughs> <laughs> good luck with that. I don't think we dropped any frames this time, so that's pretty good. Yeah, your thing was pretty green. Oh wow, <laughs> <laughs> must have been pretty boring this time. Killed it. We gotta get people to follow the uh, the YouTube and the uh, the audio versions. Why's my arm cut off? I was cut off the whole time. Nobody wants to see your arm. Yeah, I don't care about my fucking arms. <laughs> All right, so next week it'll probably yeah. just be me and John on now. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see who shows up. Unless somebody wants to come in. We'll get George on here one day. Yeah, he seems a little scared too, like Jesse. She always says that, though. She's always like, she oh, I don't want to be here. She got to be tipsy to get yeah. on. Yeah, she'll be like, All right, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, then lose her shit. Yeah. Call <laughs> <All> bitch. Right. <laughs> <laughs> next week. All right. See Peace out.